Hello, I'm Larry, and today I'm going to show you a data analysis and visualization project I did on Hulu and the streaming media industry. So let's get started right now. First of all, you may want to ask why Hulu and why not Netflix? Well, of course, Netflix is the first thing that comes to most people's mind when they think of streaming. And you must have read a lot of news and articles about it and maybe get a little bit tired of this topic. So why not take a moment to focus on something new? We'll start by comparing Netflix and Hulu in terms of numbers, regions, operations, and then dive deeper into analyzing Hulu's original series in terms of themes, awards, and more. A friendly reminder all charts about the Netflix is in red, while Hulu is in green. For example, in the two ring charts below, you can say the red larger one indicates the number and percentage of movie and TV in Netflix, while the red one represents Hulu's. Okay, so most of our data comes from Kegel's open source data site with a total of over 10,000 pieces of data. Well, this data site collects data on a number of dimensions such as production time, region, and for movies and TV shows on different streaming platforms. There is also a portion of data that I personally crawled for Rotten Tomatoes, focusing on the cast, readings, and awards of the Hulu episodes. I hope to analyze the development of Hulu and streaming industry by comparing the difference between Netflix and Hulu on a business level horizontally and by studying Hulu's own productions vertically. To make the analysis more readable, I made them into the interactive data visualization pages, as you can see right now. Well, as you can see in these two charts, the American productions that are overwhelmingly dominate on both platforms, but with a slightly different geographic distribution, we can see in the international market Netflix take advantages. And in this timeline, you can swipe your mouse to see the number of films and TV series on both platforms for each year. And also, you can see how fast they're growing. Netflix has exploded since 2015, while Hulu's growth has been relatively flat. It is worth noting though, that the COVID-19 epidemic has had less impact on Hulu's business than Netflix. Well, this work call is the 50 highest rated Hulu episodes on the Rotten Tomatoes, and you can hover your mouse to see the exact score of each one. And this is a force directed graph and one of the most interesting visualizations for me. The graph shows the connections between some of the Hulu episodes that have won Golden Globes and Emmys. The nose represents a TV show and you can hover your mouse to say what it is about. And if a straight line exists between two nodes, it provides that there is a connection between the two shows. It, it is possible that they have the same director or that they have the same theme or cast. This relationship is labeled on the straight line, you can see. You may also notice that the straight line has arrows on it, which is also a reflection of the relationship that exists between the two nodes. Well, this part is often very flexible when you're coding. You can choose to draw no arrows, one-way arrows, or two-way arrows. It all depends on the relationship between the two nodes that you want to show to the reader. You can also drag with your mouse to change the shape of the graph. Well, that's quite funny, I think. And this is a rectangular tree diagram that represents the themes of Hulu episodes that are certified positive on the Rotten Tomatoes or have been nominated for Emmys and the Golden Globes. And it reflects which themes are most popular. You can determine which themes are the most critically acclaimed by the color and the area of the rectangle. 
I also categorized each theme one more time so you can see which themes pair together to produce a good episode. Uh, lastly, I came up with an analysis that Hulu's next step in development could be to focus on increasing the internationalization of its works as strengthening its dominant themes, such as the racial dramas and comedies. Well, I hope this work has provided you with new ideas for analyzing media-related data or inspired your data visualization ideas. I hope you enjoy the video and we'll see you next time.